Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we are recapping Southern Charm Savannah, Season 1, Episode 4, Hurricane on the Horizon. You can watch this show on Peacock for full context. We start the episode with Ashley inviting a Gullah lady to cleanse the room that the fire happened in. She says that the spirits are still there, and they need someone to help them move on. They do a little ritual and some talking. They help the spirits move on. And afterwards, Ashley asks the Gullah lady about her relationship with her partner. Immediately, she tells Ashley that he's not her soulmate, and she's blocking herself from meeting her soulmate by staying with him. Anyway, you know how Louis is starting a sock line? Well, Hannah is starting a dress line too. What is it with rich people and starting clothing lines? And in case you're curious if I was, no, she doesn't sell dresses currently. She sells these like bathing suit cloth things that are like a hundred dollars. I am personally not paying a hundred dollars for a see-through blanket, thank you very much. Also, she hasn't posted to her brand Instagram since 2020, so I don't think she's really doing it anymore. I wonder if the site's actually still active then. If you order something, will you get it? Well, if you order something from there, let me know, I guess. <laughs> Louis in his confessional talks about how him starting his sock line inspired Hannah to start a dress line. Then Louis and Hannah sit together, and Louis talks about how Daniel was encouraging them to forgive Ashley and give her another chance. Louis also says that there are rumors about the fire, and if it even happened at all. But Hannah says that Dennis's legs were pretty burned up, so she does believe that it happened. We cut to Ashley and Dennis talking about the Gullah Lady visiting and cleansing the third floor. Ashley then tells Dennis that the Gullah Lady said that they weren't soul mates. Ashley then continues to tell him that the lack of romance is hard for her, and instead of focusing on that and improving that, Dennis is focused on the fact that Ashley got advice from a psychic. He then tells Ashley to leave the salt and pepper alone. He likes the way things are, but it's clear that Ashley doesn't. Ashley then shares in her confessional that she remarried Dennis for her son, and because they needed to be married to live together in Dubai. She assumed that he would just work on their relationship, but unfortunately she was wrong. She then continues to cry because she wants romance, and Dennis refuses to give it to her. I personally feel like it doesn't matter who you get the advice from. If your partner says, they told me this, and I agree, I feel that way, you should focus on your partner and work together to fix the situation. Communication is so important in any type of relationship, and being willing to continuously work on your relationship is important too. In my opinion, I feel like Dennis doesn't need or even want romance, which there are plenty of people who don't need romance to be satisfied in their relationship. But if he wants to stay with Ashley, he needs to make some compromises for her so that she feels loved too. We're now at the beach and everybody is there except for Lyle. Some guys approach Catherine and they're showing off their big muscles. Daniel and Louie are looking on and and they're stressing for Lyle. They're really worried about Catherine being very mildly flirty with these guys. Like, yeah, did she squeeze an arm? Sure. But she was also showing off her guns too, you know? It's not like she was grinding on them. Although they did ask for her number and she did give it to them, so... Daniel then compares Ashley squeezing some guy's muscle to him walking up and grabbing some woman's boob. It's not the same, Daniel. Also, these men wanted their muscles squeezed. I mean, no man just walks up to a woman and is like, Huh? 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 If he doesn't want his muscles squeezed, right? And I'm sure they didn't ha mind having their muscles squeezed, but also they were having a conversation, so it wasn't just like she just walked up to them and squeezed their pecs, you know? It's just really weird how he compared it. Plus, they're squeezing her muscles too, so it's clear that they don't mind. <laughs> After the boys leave, Daniel asks Catherine if she even wants to be with Lyle. Catherine tells Daniel that Lyle is really moody, and he constantly threatens to end their relationship every time they have a fight. Catherine then tells Daniel that she wants Lyle to take a step back so that she could figure things out on her own. The next day, Hannah goes to a dressmaker. She wants to talk about potentially having her sketches come to life. The dressmaker pretty much just craps on Hannah's designs, like, oh, hi, low, that's been done. Oh, this has been done. Oh, that's been done. And then in Hannah's confessional, she's like, I don't think I'm going to be working with this lady. Next, we meet up with Happy, who's talking to her mom about wedding stuff. Happy tells her mom that she feels like she's against the wedding, and her mom's like, he's not from here, I don't know him. Like, what do you mean not from here? He was born and raised in Georgia. In case you guys have forgotten, this is Happy, and this is her fiancé, Azam. Azam is Muslim, which I allegedly believe that potentially the mom is just mad that he's Muslim and not like a white country boy because they're in Georgia. How much more from here can he get? Is she more mad that he's not from Savannah specifically? Is like, is it that specific now? Happy's mom just refuses to talk about it and wants to just focus on the wedding stuff. So as Happy tries to do so, but is clearly hurt, her mom's like, oh, now you're in a mood. You need to learn to be forgiving. Then her mom just gets up and leaves. Then we cut to Ashley who's getting Botox. Ashley tells the 
Botox lady that she's not getting along with the group. And there was that fire. And they talk about how Hurricane Matthew is coming. Then Botox lady is like, Catherine might be cheating on Lyle. And then after that, we just cut to Catherine setting up for a dinner party. Come on, I wanted to hear more about that. So as Catherine and Brandon are setting up for the dinner party, they talk about clearing the air with Ashley because she's telling everyone that she feels ostracized. It's party time and the whole gang shows up. Lyle then asks Catherine what she does for work. And she says that she does luxury styling. And Lyle's making faces like he doesn't believe her. When Nelson gets asked how he makes his money, he says that he does investments. And Happy immediately asks why they should believe him when he straight up impersonated someone. Nelson then goes on to say it wasn't a real journalist that covered it. And it was just a blogger who wrote about it. He pretty much just denies that it happened, despite in episode one saying that he did impersonate a senator. Hannah then asks him exactly what happened. Nelson said that he was arrested for wearing the congressional lapel pin and he mouthed off to a cop. He then admits that he said he was Jack Kingston and he doesn't know why he said that. And then he goes on to say Mr. Kingston's a good friend of his. Ashley says everyone messes up and we should all let it go. And then Nelson calls his impersonating someone a bunch of pranks and not really anything that serious. Ashley then gets up at the table and says that she knows things about everyone in the group and that everyone at the table is still stuck in high school. I know something about everyone at this table. If there's anything you want to talk about, say it now. So many people are stuck in high school. I disagree. Stop. I'm not done. Things are rumored about me that are not true. It's a small town. You hear everything. The only way to deal with things is to talk about them. We're sitting down right now to get the full story. So if you want to say your truth, there's no truth that I'm talking about. Happy, I'm not attacking you. Say who you're attacking. Because I feel like you're attacking me. You are one of the main people, yes. I can't stand this whole, I love you, but you're talking behind their back. It has to stop. That's the South. You are exactly right. Why are you rolling your eyes? I'm not attacking you in any way. She's attacking me. Ashley, I tried to have a conversation with you about something. You did, and we were fine. But then you continued. It hasn't been let go. Actually, it has. Hannah, would you like me to go into your past? You better watch it. I don't appreciate you looking at me and saying, you better watch it. I'm not perpetuating rumors about you. I don't know what to believe about anybody. Well, you know what? For somebody who sits here and says you'd appreciate honesty, I'm the only person who has come to you when I did have something to say. I don't want to hear it about strip golf. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. That's how I feel. I'm not from this small town. I'm not judgmental. And I don't talk about you. I disagree. Ashley, I understand where you're coming from. You are right. I have been judging you. I feel like you haven't been honest. No one's asked me anything. So how can I be dishonest? You never told us you worked for Delta. Again, I don't know why they would bring up Ashley working at Delta. Ashley says that she does two five-hour shifts a week. And then she reminds everyone that she doesn't live on daddy's money. And she has to work for everything she has. Working at Delta isn't who she is. It's just how she helps pay bills. Daniel then claims it's about transparency. And Ashley never told anyone, not once, that she works at Delta. This conversation went from ooh drama to are we really talking about this right now who cares if ashley works at delta she doesn't need to tell people that when her main career is styling she clearly considers styling her career and delta is just a little way to pay the bills it kind of comes across that the group is mad that a poor person is amongst them how dare she work at delta as if working for delta makes you less to them when i did streaming and i worked at a fast food restaurant part-time if people asked what i did for work of course I would say streaming. Not because I was ashamed or hiding the fact that I worked fast food, but because working fast food was just a hustle to pay for my games. Maybe it's because I'm just the average person and not someone that was born in money. But this whole argument just makes me so mad. As they continue calling Ashley out for hiding it, she's straight up like, what does it matter if I worked at Delta? And it's really funny to me that Daniel's more focused on this than he is about Nelson saying a slur at his poker party. Yeah, don't think I forgot about that, Nelson. Ashley tells the confessional that Daniel was the one that encouraged her to come to the party. And now he's also part of the group attacking her, saying that she wasn't transparent enough. And insinuating that she's a liar for not sharing something that literally affects nobody. Lyle's then like, I asked what you did earlier because I knew you worked at Delta and I was baiting you. When I tell you I literally can't roll my eyes hard enough for that statement, who cares if she works at Delta? Why are we having this conversation right now? Brandon says the same thing. Who cares if she works at Delta? And Louis is like nobody she's just embarrassed by it 
No, she's being attacked and called a liar because she doesn't share the side hustle that she does twice a week. From the show, it really seems like nobody asked her if she worked at Delta. So it's hard to lie about something when nobody's asked about it. Also, they asked her and she straight up said yes. And then they just dogpiled on her and then said that she was lying by omission. In Lyle's confessional, he's like, I sell salon equipment. Interesting, Lyle, because you've never mentioned that until just now. Were you lying about it? Lyle then tells Ashley that she's pretending to travel the world on her own dime and that it's not true because Delta gives her free flights for working 10 hours a week for them. I feel like Delta paying for your flights because you worked for them is still traveling the world on your own dime. It's not like she's having people pay for her plane tickets. Like the company's just giving her free plane tickets. So yeah, it is traveling on her own dime. Plus I assume her traveling expenses probably don't include her son or her partner. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but even if they did, she worked for those free flights. Why wouldn't she take them? Like, oh no, it's the principal. You see, I'm rich, so I have to pay for my own flights. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm here with your monthly editing jump scare. It has occurred to me that people that are rich love receiving free stuff. I guess us poor people don't deserve it, huh? Lyle then continues and he's like, you're not being truthful. And Ashley's like, nobody asked me if I worked at Delta. Catherine then tells Ashley to stop talking and then admits that it wasn't fair for her to judge her based on what she's heard and that she wants a second chance. But Ashley is still revved up and Ashley's like, I don't like it when people talk behind my back. And so she tells everyone that she heard that Catherine was cheating on Lyle. You know, from the Botox lady earlier. Daniel even says to Hannah that he heard that too. Lyle then accuses Ashley of being a liar and just making that up. And then Brandon's like, well, since we're being honest, I heard you had an open marriage and that there wasn't actually a fire. Ashley responds that no, she's not in an open marriage and her marriage is messed up and a complete disaster, which she has been honest about since the very beginning. Then she goes on to say that she's hurt that people are accusing her of putting her child in danger, and faking a fire. Obviously, that hurts her. It's the very end of the party, and Daniel finally brings up Nelson saying a slur at poker night. And then Lyle calls Nelson a racist. And then the episode ends. What did you guys think of the episode? Were you as annoyed at them complaining about Ashley working at Delta as I was? Unfortunately, I know how the fight with Nelson goes, and it actually made me take a break from recording this show because it just annoyed me so much. <laughs> but we'll get to that next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!